you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks. Good morning, folks. So we decided to get this quick hitch. It's a Land Pride QH16. It was recommended for my size tractor for the Kubota B2601. As you can see, it's a Land Pride QH16. Uh, reason we got this was everybody had been telling me it so, it's makes life so much easier for taking on and off the implements. And after I brushed hog brushed hog two weeks ago I had to put the box blade back on and man getting that box blade back on I just couldn't get the tractor lined up right and I couldn't get these hookups hooked up right it took a long long time uh, I had to get my wife to come out and help me while I lifted it and it's a lot of heavy lifting especially when you're by yourself you know so uh, we decided yeah it's time now it's, 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 apparently it's a big time saver and it makes life a lot easier so come with me today i'm gonna try and put it on the tractor and see how we go from there i'll take you guys along with me so the first thing i'm gonna do is take the box blade off i've put a little rock under there to stop the box blade falling forward when it comes off um just so that once i put the quick hitch on i can back up and, and hopefully it'll all align line up and stuff like that so let me drop the box blade and then uh We'll put the tractor back back in the shade and I'll put the quick hitch on. on. All the videos that I've watched online for the quick hitch, once you've taken the box blade off, leave the pins in. So I've left my pins in because that's what it's going to attach to, right? So uh, hopefully I've done that bit right. That's the first step. Box blade is off. All right, I'll put the tractor back in the garage and we'll hook up the quick hitch. So a sad thing to see is it got pretty banged up in shipping. As you can see there's I mean there's actual dents in this thing these guys must have been tossing this this quick hitch it's uh it's very heavy I think they're, they're about 70 pounds so I'm sure the shippers you know when they get something heavy like this guys are just like hey it's hot yeah it's really been damaged unfortunately so what what I can say is uh, uh it pays to shop around um, I went to the, the dealership that I actually bought the tractor from and uh, just I got a price out the door and asked for it and then just shopped online and called a couple of people and called Messix actually and uh, Messix was $200 cheaper than our dealership here and my dealership's 15 miles away they didn't include shipping Messix included the shipping to my door so um, that was the, the, the price difference was $200 just with shopping around for exactly the same thing. Okay, so I've taken all the packaging off and it came with a manual and this bag of goodies here, there's bushings in there and washers and spare pins. So that's pretty nice. We've got some extras in this little toolkit there. And then that's how it looks. Like I say, it did get damaged in shipping, as you can see. So, uh, yep, let's put it on the tractor now and see. So other damage during the shipping that I've noticed is it's got a gouge out of the handle here. And then this handle is bent. It's completely bent. I hope that doesn't affect operation. Anyway, let's get it on the tractor and see. The QH16 quick hitch. I have taken the pins out of the swinging arms of this so it's easy to adjust and I've left it in like float so let's get this on
that's on. No, it's just the top one. So those first two ones were really easy. Let's do the top one now. So as you saw guys, that was really, really easy. Uh, that was no problem to install at all. It wasn't heavy, it wasn't outrageously heavy anyway. I mean, you can manage. And, uh, well, right. We'll put the, the pins back in the, the swinging arms and we'll get the, the, the quick hitch hooked up to the box blade. So from what I've seen online, you want this angle as straight as possible this to be as, as level and straight as possible so oops wrong way so I'm going to adjust that I'm just eyeballing it here if I struggle to hook up I'll, I'll put a, a spirit level on it I think that's good yeah okay let's put those pins in and then we're done and we can go and hook up Okay, folks, I'm ready to go. So uh, all that's left to do is start this baby up, lift the handles so that the, I can hook up and engage it. What I have noticed is you see the bend in that handle there. That's the damage that was caused. Anyways, let's see how it hooks up. So we're going to go and hook up the box blade over there. I've read online, I've watched online, sorry, they say hook up the, the middle hook first, the, the hook in the middle first, and then the other, the other two, the two sides will just align up, so we'll see what happens.
believe it was that easy. I don't know if I'm on here. Okay, so I couldn't see from my seat to see if I've got it. It looks like I've hooked up first time. Jeez! I can't even begin to tell you guys how easy that was. That's the box blade on. Wow! Um, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, let's engage this. So that's hooked on there. And this. That's hooked on there, and let me lift this thing and see what happens. So I'm just going to lift it. Oh, no way. No way. Wow. Oh, that's, that's amazing. That truly is a time saver, folks. I, I, it was so easy, I, didn't, I wasn't sure that I had it on. Uh, I had to get off to verify because I couldn't believe I had done it. Um, yeah, I'll do it one more time for you guys. I'll drop it, take it off, and I'm gonna try and do everything from the seat without getting off. Okay, so I'm gonna try one more time to hook up and see whether it was as easy as my first time, because I'm sure my first time was a fluke. Okay, let's see. absolutely crazy how fast and quick that was yeesh yeah this is a game changer folks a game changer I'm very happy apart from the damage from shipping you shippers need to be more careful yeah man that's good that's absolutely brilliant <laughs> 